Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video has been something that's been requested so, so much. Literally one of my most requested videos, both on my main and my vlog channel, and that is a medical storage tour. I was gonna say haul in, but like a tour of like where I keep my stuff um, and stuff like that, which is why I have this lovely little um, set of drawers next to me because I'm going to be going through it and it, I was, originally thought I would film my big camera and then use my vlogging camera to kind of show you guys but what I've decided on doing is just showing you a rough kind of like the drawers itself and then you know and then I'm going to take out each drawer and show you what's inside and um, but then I also have a second part to this kind of tour because I keep I have another set of drawers in another room like two drawers that I keep more medical stuff in and then I have a fridge outside which I keep my feed in and things like my potassium because they have to be stored in the fridge so I'm gonna start off by showing you the drawers and then we all move throughout the house um, but if you're interested in seeing how I store my medical stuff or you guys just trying to get ideas for storage for your medical stuff or just stuff in general then keep on watching so I'm gonna just quickly kind of pick you up and take you with me so these are my drawers and um, on top I usually have out like a bottle of paracetamol which is that there or maybe the thermometer or something like that but normally I have my medications so the little I want, I'm not I'm gonna hold it this way because I don't want to show you guys the prescriptions um, but each bottle of medication I usually keep in this thing here so when I refill my meds which I usually keep in here and as you can probably see they do need refilling I normally keep my medications in these things um, so I just keep these on top so if there's something I need I can just grab it quickly I have these little measuring cups here which I either measure out liquids or maybe sometimes I just pour out a handful of each tablet in there to make refilling easier and then I always keep a stock of um, sick bags because obviously with my gastroparesis I'm sick a lot so it's easy to just have a bag next to the bed so if I need to be sick I don't have to run off to the bathroom so that's usually what I keep on top before we continue I just want to head over to my side of the bed um, this is my IV pole um, and on here um, I keep my fluids and then my feed goes on the other side this is a Abbott pump but I also have a bigger pump which is currently in the other room but that's the pump that this goes through um, and then I have this pump that, go that I put my potassium through and some other fluids and um, but that just stays where it is it doesn't I don't really store that anywhere that just stays there but I just thought I'd mention that okay so back to the drawers so the first drawer um, I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna um, pull out now and we're gonna go through it I'm gonna show you what I keep in my first drawer and then we'll move on down I've been going over and over in my head and I really don't think there's any easy way to film this video so I'm just gonna do my best to show you um, so this is the first drawer I'm gonna hold it as if I'd, pu I'd pulled out the drawer these are a bit they seem messy but they are um, kind of organ messily organized but I know where everything is so the first drawer I keep a pair of scissors because I have a lot of dressings and packagings that sometimes need opening so I always have a pair of scissors on top then I have my medications that I might need in the night where I don't want to have to faff around to try and get to them so this is just some liquid paracetamol so I always have like that handy and I also get a lot of heartburn and stuff like that so I have a bottle of Gaviscon um, so those are the two bottles that I normally keep, you know, on hand in the top. The next thing I have is a thermometer because I do get a lot of temperatures and again, most things in this drawer are things that I need maybe immediately so they're easy to get to. So a thermometer and then I also have a pulse oximeter which measure, measures your oxygen. If you guys have ever been to hospital before you might have seen them, they put these on your fingers like that. Um, usually they connect to a machine but this one, if I can get it to face the right way. Um, but yeah, this one reads your oxygen. Let me just try and focus it. Oh, so my 96 is my, oh, 97 is going up. So that's my oxygen and this is my heart rate. So uh, my current oxygen levels are 98, which is perfect. And my heart rate is a hundred and, what is that? Uh, 121 at the moment. Um, but that is just because it is quite warm in here. And as you guys know, I have pots. So my heart is normally quite elevated and it is a bit like, I'm a bit hot, so. That, so if I'm breathless, I'm, I apologise. <laughs> so I keep all of those. Um, I'm going to try and run through this quickly as I can. 
Um, so then we have a bunch of syringes, which I use to flush my tube. Um, and I normally keep my main stock of these, I keep in another drawer, which I will show you later. Um, but I just keep a few, like the big ones and smaller ones on hand in my room. So I don't have to keep going to the other room to get supplies. So I keep those at the back. Then I keep some different nozzles and extensions for my tube and my syringes. So that's what those are. So these are all syringes and a lot of them. Some of them are for my old tube, um, but because I still use NGs to drain my stomach, um, I still need to keep the old ends. So that's what all those were. So all my syringes and stuff normally I keep oh, one more. Keep in this section here. Um, then I keep some gloves. Now I do have a big box of these, but again I like to keep a small supply on hand. So again I just keep those in the back corner because sometimes you need gloves to remove tubes if you're going to restore them again or some, some things just need to be sterile so that's what those are for. Um, then like I said these are things that I might need like quickly and some of these are just like room to store medication. So I have an, a spare inhaler still in its box. Um, then I have a couple of Forcival, um, they're kind of like Barocas but they're prescribed by a doctor. Um, if you guys know what Barocas are, they're like little um, tablets that you dissolve in a drink. Um, then I have oh some throat lozenges because obviously because I'm sick a lot, I get a lot of sore throats with being sick and obviously my tube irritates it. So it's always good to have some lozenges on hand. Then I have a couple rolls of tape. Now I use these to um, stick my tube down but I also found a new tape recently which works so much better than these so that's what I have on at the moment um, but these tapes are good for other things like all sorts of stuff like resealing packages stuff like that. Um, then I have a pack of wee strips that test your urine because again because I struggle with dehydration and um, I get a lot of UTIs it's good to have those on hand because then you can test your urine and see if you do need to make a doctor's appointment or if you're okay and you can treat it at home and it just helps to keep track of dehydration dehydration and stuff like that um, then I have a box of dextro gel um, which is used to treat low blood sugars so I also keep that in there because again I get low blood sugars frequently so it's I always keep a box of those like nearby that's just um more medication i'm gonna have there'll be a lot of medication but i don't really want to go through every single box it's just easier to say medication um then i have a couple of boxes of paracetamol which i don't actually use because i don't i can't swallow the big tablets but i keep them in there anyway just because that's where i store my medication next we have a couple of blood sugar cassettes which go in my blood sugar machine which i can prick my finger and test my blood sugar with so i keep those in there again on hand um, I have a box of Hydrolyte, which is um, similar to Dyrolyte if you are in the UK, it's basically the same thing. And that I use that to put in my fluids and keep me hydrated. More medications, um, more painkillers, more syringes. Um, that is my teething gel that I've been using on my bowl well, syrup stuff. I've been using it on my wisdom teeth and that's been helping me loads. So again, that's on hand quite close by. And then last but not least, we have a couple of other medications that are used frequently by myself or and Tom. We have Nurofen, cold and flu, <laughs> Nurofen, period pain. And then we just have um, the normal Nurofen for like pain and stuff like that. And then I have... Um, two boxes of Benadryl which I use to treat my mast cell activation disorder. I have other prescribed medication but this is what I use as an immediate because it works so quickly um, and I also have this in liquid form too. So that is pretty much it for the first drawer. It's mostly syringes, gloves, tape and then any immediate medications that I might need. So I'm just going to quickly put all this back and then we'll get out the next drawer. So upon reflection of the last draw and how long it took me to go through it, I'm going to try and speed through these a bit quicker, but this draw is really, really simple and it's not going to take much explaining. It's basically just a draw full of medication, but I will go through it quite quickly. Anyway, so these boxes on top that are quite weird looking, this was from my recent um, 
my recent hospital admission. These were the leftover tablets that they gave me. They were like, well, we're not gonna use them on anyone else. They're prescribed to you. You might as well take them with you. So that is a little stock that they've given me. Um, next, medications. Normally I wouldn't have such a big stock of everything. But because we took a big, um, we took two months supply of everything from the UK back to Australia with us. So I have a bit of a stockpile at the moment. But we're slowly getting through everything and then it will be just kind of a couple boxes each medication rather than lots and lots. Um, Diflum spray, I use that for my throat. These are my motility medications. And um, we have a couple of big uh, boxes here. These slow bleeding, stuff like that. They help with GI bleeds. Um, now this box here is a box of um, adapters. Now when I get a syringe I have to actually put one of these on the end of it because otherwise it doesn't fit the end of my tube. So I keep those in my medication drawer. Um, these are more supply of those dissolvable tablets that I was talking to you about. Uh, similar to Barocca. Um, then I have a couple more boxes. More medication. Um, what have we got here? More, oh, that is just more of the boxes I just showed you. More of the, these ones. Um, these are my heart medications. This is for gastroparesis, like pain, stuff like that. Then I have my anti-sickness. Um, more heart medication. <laughs> Two boxes of those. More bleed slowing tablets. Um, that's like for acid reflux stuff like that and then I have some more stomach medication and um, so that's pretty much it for the medication drawer it was pretty much just full of medication except for the adapters for my tube so again I'm gonna put everything back and get out the next drawer okay so oh, lastly but not least we're on to the last drawer and um, again guys this is just kind of some like the drawers are meant for kind of like a just like a little bit of everything that I need and then it's just there in my room so I don't have to run off getting stuff all the time. Um, oh, and another thing that I forgot to mention that stays on top of my drawer is the sterile water bottles like this. And this is just what I flush my tube with and it's also the fluid that I give myself um, like through my through my pump, like the IV bag that you saw over there. It's just full of like sterile water. Now this, it looks very, very messy, but it's because it's got a lot of packaging. Um, so, I'm going to start off with this. And this is the dressing that I have on my face at the moment. Don't ask me why it's in a biohazard bag, it's just what the nurse gave it to me in. And it's like a little roll of tape. Um, I don't know how well you can see. It just looks like that. And I um, use the scissors to cut that when I need um, a, fresh, a fresh dressing. Then I have more syringes because I do go through a lot of these. Um, so they're just on top. Then I have the giving sets. Now these are what I fill my IV bags with. Oh, I'm just gonna show you. That bag over there, that's what a giving set is. And that's what I fill my feed and fluids with. Um, and that's what the bags are, basically. Um, so basically each one of these is a fresh bag and I use, have to use a fresh one every day So I have quite a few of those So I don't have to go off running to get a new bag every time I need one Because sometimes I use two a day um, Depending if I run fluids or not But then I also have these bags Which if you can see One is purple and one is blue So it's two bags and they both connect to one um, cord basically and you fill one bag with feed and you fill the other bag with fluids I'll try and insert a picture if I, I'm pretty sure I have a picture of it um, and you can run fluids and feed at the same time so they're a bit different to the single bags which only have um, one bag and then these have two so I just have one of those in there because I don't really use those that often and um, usually I just use two separate bags then I have a couple of old giving sets. Now these are for the pump that I showed you before that was on the pole. And um, these go into that pump, whereas those go into my new pump. Um, so I keep a stock of those as well, because I run fluids through that pump sometimes as well. Um, now we're getting a bit more bare. You can probably see a bit better what we've got. Next I have, um, and sometimes these usually sometimes stay on top as well, depending on how often I use them. But these are moist skin cleansing wipes, um, and I just use that to the antibacterial, like, sterile wipes as well. So I just use those to clean 
um, my NG tubes or my syringes or just my hands or whatever. They're just nice to have fresh wipes. So, and sometimes in the middle of the night, like if, if I am being sick and I do want to freshen myself, I can use those. Next, I have a little container. <laughs> this is clearly not medical related, but it's a Thomas Sabo box. And in it, I keep uh, dressings and they look like this. You guys might have seen me wear them before. It's called Duoderm and they are dressings for my tube. I kind of switch between these and other brands just so my skin doesn't get too used to it and then start reacting. So they're already cut up because they don't normally come that size. They come in, if I can get it out, they come in packages like these. This is what they are like when you first get them and I have to cut them to size. So the ones that I've cut to size I keep in this little box and then the rest I just keep in these packages like that. So I have a little stock of those too. Then I have a little bottle of sterile water which I can use, sometimes take out with me. Um, it is the same as the big bottle that I showed you. It's just a smaller bottle and it's more convenient to put in my handbag. Then I have a heat pack. Um, these last like 12 to 15 hours. Again, this is like a portable so I can put this on and go out without having to worry about taking a big heat pack or anything that's electric. Um, so I have one of those in there, it's my last one unfortunately, and I haven't found anywhere that I've sold them in Australia yet, so I'm holding on to this for a day when I really really need it. I have a couple more things, um, this is mostly tube items. In here I have, which has actually been opened, so it's not so sterile anymore, but a spare NJ tube. And we did that to take the guide wire out and see if we could uncoil my, my old tube, because this is a new one and it's a lot bigger then this one, if I show you the size difference in fact, you guys can see, this is an 8 French and this is a 10 French, my new tube, so it's quite a lot bigger. Um, my old tube got blocked, if you guys watched my vlog channel you would have known. Um, but anyway, I just keep that in there because you never know, we might need the guide wire out of it again, but it's not sterile, it shouldn't really be placed. Um, especially in J's so but I keep that in there anyway then I have a couple of syringes um, now these are for pick lines or ports or Hickman lines um, they are sodium chloride uh, flushes but they can also be used to flush um, NG tubes stuff like that and we actually got given these by the hospital do not ask me why I think they might have thought that I had a pit climb or something, so we have a little stock of these. Okay, then I have a, an NG tube. Now I have more of these in the other room, but this one is open because I, um, this is the one that I reuse. I reuse them, depends how many times I have to place it, but usually between like three to four times, um, because I do, I am running low on NGs, um, before I get a fresh one, but this is an NG which goes into your stomach, so I have one of those. Um, and then I have a couple of um, drainage bags, which, let me open one, they look like this. And they go onto the end of the NG and you basically, if I can show you with this, this is my tube at the moment, they basically attach to the end and then they can drain the contents of your stomach to stop you from being sick. So I have a couple of those in here as well. But yeah, that is basically everything that was in my drawers. So now I am going to just put everything back and I'm going to head outside and I'm going to show you my, where I keep my feed and my potassium and then we're going to head to my other bedroom where I keep more of a stockpile of stuff and I keep things like my nebulizer, my blood pressure machine, um, stuff like that. Hey guys, so we're in the bedroom and this is the second set of drawers where I normally keep my stuff. So I'm just going to quickly show you. So it's a drawers like this and I only use the top two. Ignore the mess. This is like Tom's new workstation and stuff. Um, but in the first drawer, looks like this. Um, like I said, this is basically where I keep most of my stock. So I have my old giving sets here and then we have some new ones. These are the double ones, so the water and the feed. We have a, another spare box of the adapters. And then loads of syringes. It's just pretty much full of syringes. Um, so that's pretty much that drawer. And then the next drawer, keep most of my other stuff. Um, so we have some spare, um, these are the Nutrition feed bowls or water, which I run my fluids in, and my hydrolyte and stuff like that. Then we have a bunch of um, braces, and this is a sling, um, stuff like that, and I keep all that on this side. I know it looks a bit messy, but it's an organised mess. 
Um, then we have some adapters for my old tube. Um, so we have a box of those because I know they're they're changing to end fit. So when they do, I have like I'll have like a spare box. Then I have more um, of the giving sets, loads and loads of those. Um, and then on this side, this is more of my asthma -y stuff. Normally my blood pressure machine stays in here, but it's currently in my room, but I just, I can't be bothered to go back and show you guys. Um, so this is my nebulizer, um, which I haven't actually used in a while, but it's basically, you put the fluid in and you put the mask on your face and then it kind of opens up your lungs and stuff like that. Um, then I have a portable nebulizer, um, which is basically a smaller version of the big thing here. So I have one of those that I keep in here, and then I have my spacer as well, um, which just helps deliver the inhaler better into your lungs. And then I just have like a little stockpile of bandages, and like that's like a mask fit, um, because it can go into the end of there, or there is special like long tube things that fit on. Um, but they're all in here somewhere, and that's basically it for the drawers. So we are at my lovely, lovely fridge. This is basically my fridge where I keep my medication and stuff. There is some other bits and food in here, but it's both, mostly my stuff. So this entire shelf is full of my feed, which I pour. I have four of these a day. And there's a little mini stockpile here. Then I have a little pile here of my old feed. Um, that was the feed that I was on in between this feed and that feed um, and that is my old feed I only have one bottle of that in here is some sterile water which I will be running not sterile water and um, some hydrolyte water which I will be running tomorrow most likely and I keep the refrigerator to keep it cool and fresh and then this is my um, this is my potassium but we have to keep that in the fridge because otherwise it goes weird if we leave it out because it can get too hot um, and that is pretty much it guys and that's where I basically keep my feed that is a deep deep fridge by the way so guys that is basically it that's pretty much where I keep everything um, can be a bit frustrating sometimes when you've got one thing in the fridge one thing in the other room the reason, the, mo the re main reason I keep my feed in the fridge is because of how hot it gets, because it can curdle, because it's like a, not dairy, but it, it's like can milky and it just shouldn't get hot. Like they tell you it shouldn't get a, like above a certain temperature. So obviously when winter comes around or the cooler months, I'll be able to keep it in a drawer, in the bottom drawer of the other room that I just showed you. Um, but until then, um, I'm just going to keep it in the fridge. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. If you do, if you do have any questions that I haven't answered, or you're curious about something that you've seen in today's video, then just comment down below, and I'll do my best to try and reply. Um, but other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video or want to see more videos like this, leave a comment down below what kind of videos you do want to see. If you did enjoy it, please do give it a big thumbs up, and also hit that subscribe button if you are new, and join the fam. Um, and also check out my vlog channel if you're interested. I'll always leave a link down below to that and all my social media. But thank you so much, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.